I don't know, Gene. I don't have the answer to that one. We just fuck this one up. Yeah. Doesn't make it right. I know that, you know. Saying it fucks it up, it doesn't make it right. And now we are a fucking bunch of wankers. Yeah, bunch of fucking clowns here. Yeah. I will do a proper investigation, Gene. Don't worry, you know that. I will fix it. Trust me. With restrictions preventing Ferrari technicians from traveling, Haas won't be able to start their car until the Bahrain tests. The American team is currently hard at work building the 2021 Challenger in the UK base, where they opted to carry out their pre-season operations so they did not have to transport parts from the 2020 car to Italy. However, that has caused issues as travel restrictions put in place because of COVID-19 are preventing Ferrari staff from heading to Haas headquarters and firing up the engine. The Ferrari technicians are not the only ones unable to travel there, with team principal Gunter Steiner currently stuck in the US. With car development for 2021 being largely frozen in response to the pandemic, the pecking order of the grid is not expected to change a huge amount. Because of this, Steiner and Haas have taken the decision to do little work on the upcoming season's car and are instead focusing more on 2022. The sole engine manufacturer on the grid supplying just one team, Renault have reportedly made contact with Williams regarding a 2022 engine deal. Set to lose McLaren to Mercedes at the conclusion of the 2020 championship, leaving the French company with just one team on the grid, its own Alpine team, last year Renault began speaking with other teams, specifically Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo are involved in a long-time partnership with Ferrari but were still considering their options. A month later, reports emerged that the marriage will continue with the team poised to extend its partnership with Ferrari until 2025. Red Bull remains confident rival Formula 1 teams will agree to an engine development freeze from 2022. Top official Dr. Helmut Marko insists the measure is the only way Red Bull's plan to take over the works Honda operation can go ahead following the Japanese manufacturer's departure at the end of the year. Last week, F1 managing director Ross Braun denied that teams voted down the plan. Nonetheless, ahead of a rumored vote by the World Motorsport Council on February 21st, Marco remains confident agreement will eventually be reached. And that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Apart from that, I hope you're an awesome day and um, bye bye.